people this morning. Yeah. Here we go. He's coming, he's got friends, I've got the dog with me. The dog is on the bed, and I'm on the bed. I'm snuggling, because it's autumn out there. And I know where my bread is buttered, or rather where my cat sachets are. It's cats I can hear, because my dad has been, is coming to fix. We need his door. Well, it's one of the cameras that has sort of made it stick. So we've got to go to a shop. Because he left the gun behind. Uh, well, the uh, mastic gun, I should say. Uh, and so we're going to Wix to buy another one because he says he needs a spare. Get saying that when you've got the use for the country, mm. mastic is like a sealant stuff that you put um stop water getting into things, and they're putting that uh, round part of the bathroom door, which is where we think it's sticking because water is getting inside it. And then the front door, Dad needs to do something with tools to see what's going on with that, doesn't he? And so I stopped caring because I've stopped paying her attention. Look at this dog, people. Talk about make yourself comfortable on your mother. Yeah. Hi, guys. I'm happy to report the door is fixed. Uh, well, the bathroom door is fixed. It now goes backwards and forwards quite easily. It's dried out within like 12 hours because I've had the heating on because it's getting quite nippy. Yeah, despite the fact we've still had not as much rain as we um, might have liked by now, that does worry me slightly, or quite a lot actually. Uh, but the door is working, which is good. Um, the other front door might need a locksmith, but it's still working, so it's not an imminent problem. So that will be on my list of things to sort out in due course. I've dispatched my uh, nephew's birthday present for Wednesday, when I'll also be at the neurosurgeon. So I'm feeling quite ahead of myself and half of my um, piece about... Um, the development of antiretroviral drugs in the treatment of HIV AIDS is finished. Half of it. The other half I'll do because everything went of itself um, yesterday. My um, my academic PA uh, does two hours but she's, she now does two other jobs as well as me. Uh, so um, I, I get slotted in when she can fit me in, which is fine by me, but I was uh, trying to write a paper while simultaneously eating my dinner and getting ready for getting ready for carers at the same time, which was quite good, really. Um, so you've got, like, um, your academic PA offering to help you cut some more of the meat up on your plate because you were really struggling to, like, cut it up and I was like because I don't normally eat um, any kind of thing that you need cutting up in front of people unless it's already cut up because I make such a hash of it it goes all over the place it's quite embarrassing uh, but I was in my own house so in the end I just stuck it on a fork and sort of ate down it so uh, that was good um, but um, I've got this really new, really good new cup, by the way, guys. Uh, it's a sort of, I don't know if you'll see it, it's a tumbler thing. Uh, I've been putting green tea in it because my metal ones have gone a bit, all the paint's chipping off. So um, that's good. This one, uh, it's got like a silicon coating. It says um, hand wash only, not microwave compatible, but... 
we seem to be getting on so far and it's got a spare straw so this is good i can stay hydrated while i'm trying to research um and then i want to write my reading list down and make sure i do everything properly and try and get back i want to try and get my life back together so um uh, and it's taking somewhat longer than I expected. I didn't think when I was excited for my surgery almost 12 months ago, I didn't think the recovery would be quite this long and brutal. But that's the lack of rehabilitation. And that's a sort of chronic problem and is going to increase within the NHS, I think. But I don't quite know what the answer to that is, really other than more money but the nhs is a sinking you could fund the nhs with millions and millions of pounds and it would just sink into a hole because treatments get more and more expensive so um well that's a debate for another day but i shall see you guys later on in the week like most people in the UK this week, I watched the state funeral of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, who reigned uh, in the United Kingdom for 70 years. And um, I thought I would add a few stills of television here. I was very moved to see the crown on the casket on her last journey to Westminster Abbey. And uh, I think she's done the most amazing job, an amazing 70 plus years of service to the nation. And I was very moved to see the crown on her casket. And uh, I have to say, I think she would think we did her proud. Good morning guys, we're at today's preoperative assessment. Um, see if and when I get my back up and pump re replaced. Well, guys, um, I'm just giving you an update on yesterday. Um, it looks like I'll be up for surgery in November. So um, I'm hoping it's a quick deal and I'm in and out and well for Christmas and not in the hospital at Christmas again. Um, but November seems to be my month for going into hospital and I tend to squeak out if I do squeak out before Christmas, on about Christmas Eve. But I'm hoping to break the prevailing trend. But I'll um, speak to you all soon. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, well, not enjoyed the video because it was a funeral of the Queen. But I hope it's been moderately informative to those of you who haven't experienced a state funeral. And... Um, I hope you've enjoyed the clips, the bits of clips of me in it as well. I shall see you all in my next video. Bye.